morning I heard the blackbird and again it's another lovely day Mark and John brilliant made my day now I take it you all knew the hymn as for the prayer part part or points i.e. 7 and 19 plus 3 they represented family fellowship and needed care all blessings in their own way to me I think this will be my last thought so first the book I use to meditate not every day but most it came from Barbara's pen friends after I met them in America Reed and Virginia both in the Lord's presence now but they sent me this book I'll show you it's this one and I've had it for years but it's um, it's the readings I get from it that uh, in fact I've used it on the bulletin sometimes but they sent me this book and it covers the whole year and its title is Grace for the Moment now the reading I have you gardeners will like this as I do Romans chapter 1 verse 20 but I will read my little book quote based on Romans 1 20 so I'll read it to you and the title of it is this something deep within there are things about him that people cannot see but since the beginning of the world those things have been made easy to understand by what God has made God's judgment on the day Christ returns is based upon humanity's response to the message received he will never hold us accountable for what he doesn't tell us at the same time he will never let us die without telling us something even those who have never heard of Christ are given a message about the character of God the heavens declare the glory of God that's Psalm 19 verse 1 NIV nature is God's first missionary where there is no Bible there are the sparkling stars where there are no preachers there are springtimes if a person has nothing but nature then nature is enough to reveal something about God as Paul says God's law is not something alien imposed on us from without but woven into the very fabric of our creation there is something deep within people that echoes God's yes and no right and wrong their response to God's yes and no will become public knowledge on the day God makes his final decision about every man and woman and there's another extra reading with that and it's when Christ comes Rome Romans 2 15 16 I just had a thought I wonder if Paul was a gardener I know he made tents but I just wondered if he was a gardener also anyway and in Romans 2, verse 15 and 16, it reads this, 15 and 16. For where the Gentiles who do not have the law do instinctively the things of the law that are written in their hearts, their conscience is bearing witness and their thoughts alternating, accusing or else defending them on the day when, according to my gospel, God will judge the secrets of men through Jesus Christ. Something deep within. Let's close in prayer. Thank you for listening, by the way. Sorry if I bored you. And I've got to think of a hymn yet. Blessed Lord, we thank you for the signs that you give daily. If only we would stop, look, listen and inwardly dwell upon the wonder of creation we thank you lord for the 
the song of the blackbird, or the vision of the flowers in the garden, or the stillness that we have at the moment. So many things around us cause us to respond, especially people, those that are without the Lord Jesus Christ and those with. There is a difference. And if we look, it's noticeable. And so we commit the words that have been spoken in many ways over the past few days and humbly ask for your blessing upon each individual. We give thanks to you in our Saviour's name. Amen.